Hello, Mark Foster here. We're going to do a quick tip today just to um, have a think about your downswing. So we're going to talk about how to just trigger that downswing for better golf shots. So a common question I get asked is how do I get my weight through on the downswing, how do I successfully start a downswing with my hips. So people are aware that uh, magazines and videos and the like talk about starting the downswing should start with your hips, followed by your shoulders, hands, then club last, but people are asking what's the best way to do that. Now I've got a few drills I use um, for students and a variation of, uh, of, um, of work. So I'll give you a couple here for you to try and find out which one works best for you. So look, first one to do, what you want to think about, once you've made a good coiled backswing, so that means you've turned your upper body against your lower half, once you feel that you're achieving that, then you need to start downswing from the ground up. Basically you're trying to push off the ground to generate some energy. So you're trying to transfer the weight from the ground up through your body and then down into the ball through the club. And the best way to do that, this is the most successful I tend to have with my students. Who, so if you're one of those golfers who hit the ball and tend to sit back and struggle to get your weight through, this is a great thought to help you uh, trigger that downswing. Think about your right knee. If you want to think about your right knee driving over towards your left knee at the end of the swing. So what I mean by that is finishing into the ball with your right knee touching your left knee. So literally the first thing you want to think about as soon as you start your downswing is thinking about trying to get your right knee to drive towards your left knee. Now a common mistake when people do this is they let their left knee run away. So what happens in an effort to try and get their right knee to drive towards their left knee, the signals from your brain get a bit confused and you send a few signals to your left knee as well and that starts moving across. You don't want that. It's the right knee coming towards the left knee is what you're after. So this will encourage, first of all, a bit of weight shift. Second of all, to finish it off, touch of your left knee, you've got to rotate. So you're just going to create the two movements that you want. That weight shift onto your left foot, and then that turn onto your left side and finishing with the weight on your left heel. It's a great trigger for your downswing. Top of your back swing. As soon as you get there, think about trying to push that right knee over towards your left knee and uh, finishing with it actually touching your left knee so you can feel that they're actually together. That's probably the one I have the most success with. Now the other one, which is a bit more extreme, harder to hit the ball, but I mean it can work, but it, it's worth a try. If you really struggle to get your weight forward, try a couple of shots where you actually step into the ball. So, actually you feel like your right foot just stepped up towards your left foot at the end. This will give you a really good feeling of what it's like to try and hit through the ball. You might hit a few funny strikes doing this because it's a very extreme uh, drill, but it does encourage or just promote uh, a fantastic weight shift. But guys, hope that helps. Give it a practice. Let me know which one uh, works best for your golf or any of them do. Hopefully they do. If they don't, let me know. Post a comment. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.